So we're in Kruger. There in the background you can see some small herd of, of elephants drinking. And I'm just going to move down slightly. There's some buffalo down at the water hole. Let's see if we can get those into the frame as well. If you look there behind me, there are some buffalo. Let me see if I can just turn that color up a bit. No, that's terrible. There we go, that's better. When President Paul Creer uh, first set aside the, the ground that would become the Kruger National Park, which is where we are now, just this magnificent a jewel of, of South Africa. He said that his purpose was for setting aside certain areas where game could be protected and where nature could remain unspoiled as the Creator made it. Paul Creer and, and the culture of his day just accepted that God was the creator of this amazing, amazing world in which we live. And they believed that by faith, faith in the word of God. The Afrikaans culture was bekend as the immense funny book, the people of the book which of course was the book was the Bible and, and they believed the Bible and they believed the account of biblical creation. And I believe that account. I believe it absolutely to be true that God created the heavens and the earth in six days just purely from nothing by his absolute, eternal, immeasurable power. He spoke this amazing, creative, colorful, patterned, uh, designed, purposeful universe into being. I believe that by faith. I don't believe it based on science or anything. I believe it by faith. In fact, the Bible talks about this in Hebrews chapter 11. The writer of Hebrews says, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. You see, we have to believe the origins of the universe by faith. It doesn't matter what we believe, we believe it by faith. Because we weren't there. I wasn't there at creation when God spoke this wonderful, wonderful creation into being. I wasn't there. So I have to believe it by faith. And I believe the word of God when it tells me that he created in six days. But it doesn't matter what we believe, we have to believe it by faith about origins. Because the origins of things are outside of the scientific method of observation and testing and experimentation and repetition. If somebody believes in evolution, they believe it by faith. Faith in the ideas of other scientists or faith in the ideas of Charles Darwin. Faith in all sorts of presuppositions, assumptions about the starting points of this universe. The interpretation of the fossil record, the dating methods, the radioisotope dating methods are all based upon certain untestable, unverifiable assumptions about the past. The amount of uh, radioisotopes, various radio radioisotopes in rocks, that the processes of radioisotope decay took place at a steady rate over whatever age they assign to that rock or fossil. So it doesn't matter what we believe on origins, we believe it by faith. And I choose to believe, along with Paul Creer and many, many millions of Christians around the world, I choose to believe that God created this amazing, beautiful universe roughly 6,000 years ago. And the Bible tells us that by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. 
And I don't care whether it's a scientist or a pastor or whatever, whatever we believe about origins, it has to be by faith because we weren't there to observe whatever happened in creation. And the Bible also tells us that Jesus himself is the creator. Hebrews chapter 1, Colossians chapter 1, John chapter 1, that all things were created by the Logos, which is Jesus Christ, and nothing was created that has been created without him. And the wonderful news is that that same creator, thousands of years after the fall, as many things went wrong in this creation, and I'll speak about those sometime as well in this series, but that the creator came on a rescue mission to his creation to come and have victory over those things that have gone wrong and suffering and death and and those things that are also part of nature here at Kruger National Park. So just some things to think about and, and take this with you. It doesn't matter what anybody believes about the origin of our universe. They believe it by faith. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the wonderful blessing of being in this amazing record, witness, testimony of your creation. As we see the patterns and the coloring of of animals like a giraffe and, and zebra and many, many others, the gorgeous variety and colors and patterns that we see in the bird life, the amazing design and, and uh, uh, attributes of the elephant's trunk. And we, we saw some elephants just now. We cannot help but believe that there is a God, that you are almighty, all-powerful, Father, thank you for the wonderful blessing of being able to experience some of this with my helpmeet, uh, Juanita. Father, we pray that we would just learn to have faith, to rest in the perfection, the wonders of your revealed word, the heavenly scriptures. Life becomes more simple when we take your word at face value. And there's nothing in science that can in any way cast that word into disrepute. It is true because it comes from the Father of light and truth and knowledge, the word that comes from the Creator Himself. Thank you that that creator, the Logos, the living word of God, came into his creation to die upon the cross for our sins that we might be reconciled to you, our heavenly God and creator, through faith in him. Mercy upon mercy, grace upon grace. In Jesus' name, amen.